Hi, I'm Adam from Apply Tools, and in this short video I'll show you how to work with the Apply Tools Eyes GitHub integration. The Apply Tools Eyes GitHub integration automatically batches together all the visual tests that run as part of a pull request field, automatically configures the branches used for obtaining and saving test baselines, and displays the status of your visual test directly in the pull request page right next to the build status. For the purpose of this demo, I've created a GitHub repo called Merge Demo, which, when built, runs the Hello World test of the Getting Started guide in two different viewport sizes. The test starts by navigating to the Hello World page, visually validates it, then clicks the Click Me button and visually validates the resulting page. In the Merge Demo repo, I've installed the Applitools integration application as well as the Travis CI service to build and run tests. Note that the Applitools Eyes GitHub integration can work with any CI system. Let's proceed and create a new pull request to show the integration in action. First, we'll clone the repo locally, modify the test in a new branch called My Branch, and post the changes back to the GitHub repo. Next, we'll create a pull request to merge the changes in my branches with the master branch. After creating the pull request, Travis initiates a build for the pushed pull request. To keep things simple, I've disabled builds for pushed branches, otherwise you would have seen two Travis builds in progress. When the build completes, two additional statuses are added to the pull request page by the Applitools Eyes integration. The test Applitools status indicates the status of all the visual tests that ran as part of the build. We can see the two tests detect the differences. Clicking the details link will take you to the corresponding batch in the Applitools test manager. As you can see, the batch contains two test runs with different viewport sizes. The branch name conveniently includes the name of the target repository, the pull request source branch, and the commit message and shell. Let's accept the changes in the first test and reject the changes in the second test. Going back to the pull request page, you can see that the status description now indicates that one of the visual tests failed. If we accept the changes in the second test, you can see that the status changes to green to indicate that all the visual tests passed. Looking at the test details, we can see that the test was automatically configured to run in a branch corresponding to the pull request source branch. We complete our test analysis by saving the changes to the baselines of the source branch. The updated baselines will not affect any test running in other branches. Now that we are done updating our baselines, it's time to make sure that no conflicting baseline changes were introduced to the target branch by other team members. We do this by clicking the details link of the SCM Apply Tools status, which is currently pending. As indicated by the dialog, no conflicts were found and our two changes in the source branch are ready to be merged into the target branch. Going back to the pull request page, we can see that the SCM Apply Tools status changed to green to indicate that no baseline conflicts were found. Once we close the dialog, we can see the details of all the change baselines, compare them, and even edit the source baseline by importing ignore regions and annotations from the target baseline or by adding new ones. You can merge baselines directly from the screen by clicking the merge button or simply head back to GitHub and merge the pull request. As soon as your source code is successfully merged, Applitools will automatically merge the change baseline in the source branch with the baselines of the target branch. To learn more about the Applitools Eyes GitHub integration and how to set it up, visit applitools.com/docs.